one thing I'm noticing a lot is that a lot of feminists, I think that YouTube is basically a place for me to talk about this subject in particular because race realism and things like that, feminism, YouTube's ready for that at this point. The, the culture shock is gone now. As opposed to a lot of other issues I bring up in my blog posts, which in and of themselves aren't that big of deals, but um, the Aspies are going to Asp. That, that's just as real as it's going to get. Some of y'all niggas can't handle one layer of my thoughts. Imagine me adding the other fucking layer. You guys are going to fucking freak out. Which is what you already did when I kind of gave the outline to my post dissing the white nationalists. The fucking anti white guys that hated civilization got pissed. Even though we sort of we agreed on one thing for different reasons. That's why they, they weren't ready for that shit. But anyway, going into the real subject. My issue with feminism is that I saw this post on Facebook right now that, uh, well, not right now, a few weeks ago, which is right now to me. That's a, it. It was a screenshot of a Tumblr post that got a lot of approval where basically it said, we don't need males anymore. Females can artificially inseminate themselves. Not even inseminate themselves, just like get the cell of another female and alright now we can just keep having females which is normal for some species to have just nothing but females and I doubt that they're gonna wipe males out entirely they're just gonna keep them as vintage things but what bothered me is that the comment section they were straight up disagreeing with this it was like, did everyone just have a synchronized period or something? Um, felt a sex drive. How is civilization going to continue? These guys were onto something, yet they didn't finish. They didn't finish the thought. They couldn't complete it because they had to kill liberalism too with their statements, and they just weren't ready for that shit. But what do you expect? It's Facebook, the IQ level of the comments are going to be ridiculously low. My issue is the fact that the male sex is a blessing for species. Not a lot of species have the male Y chromosome. It's pretty fucking highest percentile it's very elite and even then there's still matriarchy matriarchy is a lot more common than patriarchy and e even in Thals like me like Thals civilizations Neanderthals also had matriarchies and they were pretty fucking smart before the eggs, you know got they enveloped the Thal gene into themselves and there's this hatred of Cro-Mags that a lot of Thals have. Because there's that Cro-Mag personality, that British thing. Within all of them. And me in particular, I could care less. I fucks with both of them. Honestly, Thals can be a little annoying too. Especially with their facial, facial structure, which is just begging to be punched sometimes other times it's quite aesthetic and when I think about that even in intellectual species the matriarchy aspect exists the female dominance in terms of amount sometimes like some species don't get males that's a fucking blessing that we have that shit 
that we have uh is it this is some advanced stuff the feminists basically are trying to bring something back using the tools made for by patriarchy I mean where do you think all this technology to artificially inseminate came from it came from the blueprints from the foundation of patriarchy so imagine no religion Let, let's head to John Lennon as territories religion is also something that's very very it's something that you have to consider a fucking blessing and the fact that there's people that want to get rid of this shit that's it's incredible. Using the tools made by religion, nonetheless. So all this intellectual nihilism. The highest values devalue themselves. While at the same time, merging in transvaluation of values. It's, it's the perfect fusion of egalitarianism and elitism. That's what's happening right now. Leftism has always been the worst of both worlds. Especially since it's transitioning from something that's very aristocratic to something that's highly democratic. And still with the destruction of civilization, anarchy in mind. That's pretty fucking incredible. And also, I'm using a lot of filler words now. This is my third take. The first take was fucking perfect, but this thing kept freezing like a mofo, so I said, fuck it. Second take wasn't even worthy of being called a take, thanks to the slowness of my computer. And now the third take, I'm just not feeling it. But you see this a lot now. We're using technology to advance primitivism, to advance tribalism. And it's going to cost us a lot. Not just with the feminist issue, not just with the LGBT issue, which is a very fringe issue. It's not going to be successful because one in four guys aren't gay. Sorry, Lance Base. It's not one in four. It's one in twenty-five, which is still surprisingly a lot. That's still a lot to me. And sure, it's not as much as the black population, but what's that? That's like what one in ten, and that's not as much as. what the Hispanic population, what the brown guy population is ultimately going to be. So number games are really fucking interesting and they're gonna be very relevant especially since we have all this technology now that we're not gonna use for good reasons. We're not gonna use them to basically Ideally, what technology should be there for is to reinstate authoritarianism, not to promote egalitarianism. And if you're going to go the egalitarian route, at least do it in a vacuous way, which is the way it's meant to be done, in a very vacuous fashion, since that's where egalitarianism plays best. Best. Why did I pronounce it that way? Fuck. So anyway, I hope you like whatever fuck I'm doing with my head right now. Uh, this is Mr. Rocket's 7 video, and... Suck my dick. I should really start every video saying something, niggas. Like Chad Borden, like I used to do it, but... 
I guess the closing line is still good enough. Alright. Hold my dick. <laughs> <laughs>